Jennifer. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. So today we're going to do some Christmas baking. Yeah. Bella has got chocolate around her face if you're wondering. The lighting is horrible so I'm really sorry. Uh, what are we making today Belle? Carrot cake. A carrot cake. Carrot cake. Um, so basically we were going to film a stitchy video this week as we always do but I've been stitching something for Rye for Christmas and he can't see what it is. So I can't show to. you that and we did a stitch with us last week yeah. so we thought we'd do something different. A different type of festive craft, so to speak. Do you want to introduce yourself? Who are you? Um, Santa Bear, and so I should do all the help of baking until mix carrots, cake, until we can invent it. For Bella. For Bella. For Bella. Okay. That was a very long introduction, yeah. Santa Bella. <laughs> so, um, what you'll need if you are doing this is... 12 ounces of self-raising flour, 3 teaspoons of baking powder, 2 teaspoons of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of salt, 7 and a half ounces of dark brown sugar, 3 ounces of walnuts, they're optional, we're not going to do them because I don't like walnuts. Come on, you can't be stomping them. What we get? Um, 9 ounces of grated carrots, 3 tablespoons of desiccated coconut, <laughs> Two teaspoons of vanilla essence, three eggs beaten, seven and a half fluid ounces of corn oil, we're using vegetable oil, uh, three tablespoons of milk, and then for the icing, you need three ounces of like the full fat Philadelphia, like cheese, um, two ounces of butter, a few drops of vanilla essence, and six ounces of icing sugar. So Sifted. Sifted. We oh. went out this morning and bought all that, didn't we? We went shopping. Did. And you we got did. carried all the way home? Yeah, well, I had to get carried. Um, so we've already weighed out some of the bits because we're at my nan's and the only scales my nan has are talking ones. So rather than have you listen to the talking, hopefully, I'll type this uh, recipe out in the comments. I'll post it on Instagram in case you want to just have a look there. And I'll put it in as we go. So you can follow in any kind of way, but I'm not going to be telling you how many ounces or anything again mm. because the the actual weighing she just said it was her turn and then she talk? wants to present yeah. go on then I was busy playing at home and Bella and decorated a tree that's very true how many trees have you decorated? one tree you've done you've three you've done three <laughs> so we're going to clean up we're going to clean Bella's hands we're going to clean her face and then we're going to get started with baking. Yeah. Everyone ready? Yeah. Yep. Team high five. You high five, Dad? There we go. Good work. So, step one is sift the cinnamon, flour, and salt into a large mixing bowl. So we've already done the flour. Do you want to watch her and I'll grab the salt and cinnamon? I think yep. it's still in the bag. Cinnamon's oh, no. here. We didn't bring salt because it's still here. Are you doing a flower check? Yeah. Quality control? How much do we need? So, half a teaspoon of salt. Can I do this? Can I pour it in? Go on then. Dip the spoon in. Wow, chef excellence. Really should find a different angle for this. You need to be able to see the bowl. Here we go. Is that better? Don't pour that. Well, and then we need two teaspoons of cinnamon. So, mommy will grab them. Here's one. And there's two. two. There we go. Good work. You have Add the sugar, nuts, grated carrot, and desiccated coconut. Don't put your fingers in, man. At least she's got Good thing we've cleaned them. Keep them grubby bits away. Let's pull these up a bit. So for mixing everything in this wooden spoon, that's literally like a key fact. Spoon. Go on then, wooden spoon it. Wow. <laughs> Bella, this sifting tutorial goes crazy. Oh, and you've already got some out of the bowl. <laughs> that's fine. If you ever wonder what it takes to cook with a three-year-old. Can you get a sock? 
Right, I'm gonna turn the camera off because we need to grate the carrot and we've got like an electric grater thing. So that'll be really loud. So we'll come back when the carrots are grated and they're ready to go in because that's the next step. So what do I do? Just drop it in? You drop them all in. Right. Oh, all in one. Well, you can, as many as you want. And then you put the plastic bit in. So is that so it doesn't like mush out the top? No, it's to push them down. So I'd leave it as that for now. Goodness, this is technical. Ready? And then, okay. Ready? Yep. So, carrots shredded. This is Rai's Jeez, first time making great. this cake. Um, he doesn't like carrot cake. Um, I do. So, we're going to take this into work. Bella is all clean. We've made sure she's cleaned her hands. And she's not touching her face. She's just in the other room because she doesn't like loud noises. Yeah. There we go. Probably should have done another carrot, but it's fine. Oh. <laughs> eh, we'll live and we'll learn, don't we? It's gonna be a vaguely carroty carrot cake. So, I think we can get Bells back. Yeah. Should we go grab her and then I'll wash her hands and then we can keep going? Yeah. Daddy's got the sugar. Okay. Ah, I was looking for like proper sugar, not the. Is it cane, Demerara? What do I do? Hold the bottom of it and help Daddy pour. Pour. Oh, all of it. Yep. Yeah. It's stuck that. That's quite a sticky sugar, isn't it, Bear? It is. Do you wanna give that a mix with the spoon? We're gonna pour the carrots in? Yeah. Can Daddy get the carrots off and you can help pour? Yeah. Oh, that was yeah. fun. Yeah. Hold the bottom again. Watch, watch your hands. There you go, you help like that. Yeah, you hold Dad's stuff. Here we go. You know what I was saying earlier about everything from the 80s being really brown? Yeah. Can't see through this. <laughs> it's just like a warm brown orange colour. There we go. Call it brorange. I put this on Do you want to give this a mix with the with the spoon? Yeah. And he said with the bowl. So I mean you'd still technically be right. Flour, cinnamon, salt, in, sugar, nuts, but we're not adding nuts. Not adding nuts. Are in. Grated carrot. So we need the Did coconut. It. You need to keep going, missus. Here's the Did coconut. It. Once it's measured. Right. Do you want to measure with dad? I think he's gonna be silly again. You think he's gonna be silly? I'm gonna be silly. Silly coconut time. <laughs> How much do we need, Mum? It looks very dry right now. <laughs> uh, oh, it's three tablespoons. We don't even need the scales. Oh, there we go. So we've had a bit of an accident. I didn't have enough hands. Luckily, we've still got about half a bag. All of the coconut, pretty much. Half well, of half coconut. of the coconut has just ended up on the floor. Um, tried to film this video and things keep going wrong, so... But you know what, that's part of life. I mean, this is how my Christmas has been this year, so... Oh, there we go. <laughs> we need three tablespoons of that. This is how it looks at the minute. Sorry, let me just show you, because it looks very dry. But this is how it always looks, because then you add oil, and then it looks a lot better. Heat or normal? Uh, just normal. That be enough? Yeah. One. Oh. Two. Two. Three. Three. There we go. Bella's gone to chill in the other room. She was having no part of it after the coconut accident. She, my mom was like, do you want to stay with us? And she was like, yes, please. <laughs> and I went a bit awry with the coconut, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> How's everyone else's day going? If you are baking this, coconut on the floor isn't necessary. It's not a vital step. You can do it. Adds to the experience, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm making this on the Sunday. You'll probably be watching this sometime this week. So apologies, we didn't know what we were doing for a video. But while I'm giving this a mix, um, I have some goals for 2023 in my stitching. Do you want me to mix while you discuss your goals? No, I'm all right. Um, I was just gonna say once we add the oil and we really need to mix it well, I'll tell you what my goals are. So. So far, everything dry, I think, pretty much should be added. Oh, I forgot the baking, uh, baking powder. Actually, the baking powder's not in the instructions. 
I would assume it needs to go in with the cinnamon, so I've missed that, but it can get added in now. We need three teaspoons of baking powder. Can I put the teaspoon in the wash? Um, I can't see the teaspoon. There, there it, it is. is. Can we open this? It's got plus. Oh no, it's just paper. Yeah, I was just trying to get it's it to weird. pop up. I don't have a nail. I have nails. There we go. It's one way to do it. One way or another, it'll end up in your mouth. Two, three. Do you want to give it a mix, right? I certainly can. So yeah, we. I'll move off to the side so I'm not blocking your face. <laughs> it's been a, it's been an experience making this. I've never made, I've made this cake a lot, and it's never been quite like this while we're making it. Well, I mean, to be fair, we did have a three-year-old as head chef for a hot minute there. Bella loves baking. I don't know what happened this time because usually she's so good, isn't she? I mean, the kitchen ends up in a mess, but not like it has today. Well, I mean, that desiccated coconut really did add to the the whole affair, didn't it? So, just to recap, because I feel like this video has been very all over the place. So far, flour, cinnamon, salt, sugar, nuts, grated carrot, desiccated coconut, and baking powder should be in this. I think that's that's a that's, mix. that's a mix enough for a dry ingredient. Now, know. make a well in the center. Make a well in the center, and add. The vanilla essence, beaten eggs, oil, and milk. Do we have to pre-beat the eggs? Yes. Goodness. So, <coughs> do you want to put the vanilla in? Yeah. And I'll get the eggs that. started. A few, a few there. drops. Ah, oh, two teaspoons. A few drops just for that icing. I have to do this very gently because of how strong vanilla essence is. Yeah, right. That sounded bad, it wasn't. There we go, two teaspoons of vanilla essence. Excellent. More like excellent. Where did I put the eggs? Over here. There we go. The great egg hunt of our time. It's not even Easter. How many eggs? Three, Three eggs. And then do you want to start measuring the oil? Yeah. You can just measure it in that, because we don't need that again. How much? Oh, we will need that again. It's up to you. Uh, we need 225 milliliters. Wait, what's seven and a half fluid ounces in millil? Hey Siri, what's seven and a half fluid ounces in milliliters? 213. We need 213. One oddly specific amount. Well, the problem that I've got with this recipe is this was my grandpa's recipe and he did everything in ounces, so that's what we're going off because I'm also a big ounce user. But it's also got the grams in there, and the grams are all wrong. Like the conversion is wrong for every single one of them. So that's why I just had to ask Siri so to help. Two hundred thirteen milliliters of oil. Yeah. Right. Just I would just go just over two hundred. One. I always beat with a fork. That's a very curvy fork. It's a normal fork. It's a very curved fork. It's a normal fork. If anyone makes this, please let me know what you think of it because I love this recipe. I don't think any carrot cake compares to this, but you even liked it when you tried That's it. That's true, and I'm not a carrot cake kind of person. Ryan does not eat carrot cakes and he likes this, so. Right. So, vanilla essence already in. Yep. Beat the eggs, add them in. They're in. Do we add the oil at the same time? Yep, oil. All of it, or a little yep, bit at a no time? Oil. We need milk still. And milk. Ooh. You need to. There's still more in there. Yes, yes, it's got cabinet, it's just One. And a half. Down. Right, do you want me to start mixing? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, that is sturdy, oh my goodness. It's a thick mixture now. I'm trying to keep it all from going over the side at once. There we go. Am I a, prof a proficient mixer? Mm -hmm. Stiff peaks. No. Once everything's mixed, it only takes about 30 seconds 
Well, it does when you do it because you're a good mixer. I'm a skilled mixer. Um, and yeah, do you want to give it a little stir yeah, to show the consistency? Little. So it's like it's still thick. It's it's like it's quite smooth to mix, but yeah, it does have a bit of resistance. I it, couldn't think of the words for it. Though. It looks chunky, but that's just the carrot in the coconut. Yeah, it's just because there's there's like no like in it. It's not like a lumpy mix. It's not flour in that. It mixes together really well. And then all we've done this is so the toast is on there because we needed the space needed back the space here. For this it doesn't detergent. live on the doesn't live on the stove usually. Um, no, so that's a super toaster. That. What toast, a toaster that lives toast on the stove. Toast twice as fast. Um, this is the size tin. I think it recommends an eight inch tin. I don't know about this one. This looks like it might be eight yeah, inches. It's pretty big. It's pr pretty big tin. Um, oh we've put like baking paper <clears throat> on the bottom of it and round the sides. So when you pour this in, it'll kind of spread back. So do you want to pour it in, right? Yeah, we just literally pour just it pour it in. in. So and if you pick the bowl somewhere. up, uh, I'll put it on this grease proof paper. Yeah, moment. I'll put the bo the thing here. And then hope this goes well. Yeah. Go, go, go. Yeah, see what I mean? It's it's quite a thick... It's a goopy mix. Like, that moved very slowly, didn't it? It's a unit. <laughs> we left our dog at home, didn't we? <laughs> right. I think... You get, you get the gist of the paw. We're going to need um, a, a spoon. A spray. <laughs> Can I all just go in one place and we'll flatten it off? Yeah, it's, it's flattening itself. You're liking my technique with the little tongue. Yeah. We've had quite a few disruptions in this video, so I'm really sorry that it's all cut up. That was not the plan, but nothing's gone to plan with this video, so. Well, I mean, at the moment, not much has gone to plan with Christmas, but that's just adding to the appeal, isn't it? Mm. It's like we live in a National Lampoon movie. Yeah, literally right now. There we go. That's scooping out nice. And it's like literally already just flattened itself out. Oh. So the oven needs to be on 180. Oh, it's just gone off. 180 or it says gas mark four, but usually we put ours on six if it says 180. It's not the nicest tasting cake mix, but it tastes nice when it's done. Professional, level it off a little bit. This looks like spooky lighting. Oh, it is spooky lighting. That's like um, if Morticia's lighting was orange instead of like white. Um, I will oh, no. type the recipe out and I'll have it in a more easy to follow thing because I appreciate this was not this isn't how the video was like planned to go at all but it's, it's not fine. but I think this makes it more realistic in a way yeah our realistic Christmas baking <laughs> I'm having an energy drink I slept Breaking. for 14 hours last night I got in after we've been to Ryan's parents um, and we got back at seven I literally fell right asleep and I woke up at quarter past eight this morning and you woke up for like an like maybe 40 minutes last night to, to, to... I got up, went to the loo, brushed my teeth, got back into bed, went to sleep. I did wake up with a migraine, but I'm feeling alright now. I'm sort of American dad and that was you. So, I'll, I'll go welcome to our Christmas. This is how everything's <clears throat> been so far. I'm not feeling it this year, guys. You know how much I love Christmas. And I don't want to cry, and I am going to cry if I keep up like this. But you know how I feel about Christmas and everything's going wrong. I miss Bella going to see Santa the other day. So, big sad, but she had a nice time, so that was good. I'm glad that she got to go, because she wouldn't yeah. have if they were waiting for me, because I've been working. Putting it in the oven. The light's gone out in Nan's oven, so we won't be able to watch it baking. Oh, that's... There we go. Real shame. Where's the book? Book Books it, yeah. just there. Yeah, I moved it off the top here. So that looks really ominous. Just that going corridor. To bake in a preheated oven for <coughs> an hour. Do you want me to set the timer? Book. Yes, please. Or until well risen, golden brown, and cooked through. I'm going to be honest. I don't think you can tell with this cake. It's not like a normal sponge. You know where it's like really yeah, pale it's mix and then it goes darker. This doesn't really do that's that. It's already a very dark mix because of the brown sugar. Brown sugar, yeah. Leave a cake. So when it's out if i will hopefully film this but when it comes out of the oven you leave it in the tin for 15 minutes out of the oven and mm. then you put it on a wire cooling rack and leave it for two hours and then we'll do the icing so i'm really excited the icing's the best part so yeah is that the tastiest bit would you say yeah yeah oh yeah definitely gonna be licking the spoon for that 100 <laughs> <laughs> percent. we bought like a little thing of milk look how much we've used it'll get used but <laughs> I'll come in for other stuff, won't it? Imagine yeah. all the cups of tea you could have. I was thinking coffee for mum. There we go. There we go. So we'll see you when the cake's done. So, icing time. Cake's done. See if I can hold it up. 
That's a, a sturdy uh, kit. Yeah, you can. Can you yeah. put it, tip it upside down when Together it's cooling. Though, yeah. That's why it looks a bit wonky. Um, so what? you need one key. You need three ounces of Philadelphia, which we haven't measured out yet. <laughs> Two ounces of softened butter. Can I put the cake? In a minute. In a minute, yeah. A few drops of vanilla essence and six ounces of icing sugar. <laughs> so icing sugar's here. I'm yeah. gonna pour it into the bowl. That was a good bowl pour. Thank you. Bella's gonna be helping mix in the icing. Yep. Although she yep. might not be in the forefront because she's got a cough, bless her. Yeah. But we're washing hands. Yeah, you stand up, I'll hold you. Hold on to you so you don't tip. We're washing oh. our hands, we're keeping her Even away. as she can be. She um had a nap earlier. Well nearly. nearly. She was like you give thumbs up. very close to a nap, so that's why she wasn't in the video for a little thumbs bit. Down, thumbs up. Thumbs, thumbs up only. Up. Thumbs up. Good girl. And yeah, she was falling asleep eating that tea, wasn't she? Yeah. It is 1.9 That is a really intrusive robo, man. Yeah, we have the, the joy of talking skills at the moment. Hello. Can you pour that in? Yeah. Did she just say hello? Shake. There we go. It takes a village, doesn't and it? And mummy will sort the butter. Do you guys want to do the vanilla while I'm at it? Yeah. yeah. Vanilla's just behind there. Vanilla. A couple of drops, Belle. So should we do one cap? Yeah. That seem like enough? Tip my hand. Blop. Blop. My thumb absolutely reeks of vanilla because it all just spilled down. Hello. Hello, Bella. This is me on the video. It is you on the video. <laughs> Ounces. And I like playing. I got it to two ounces, but I took it off before I said the thing. It's a bit of a delay on the scale. Uh, Are we ready to mix then? Uh, yeah. So yeah. we need a fork. Fork. Okay. I'm just going to clean the vanilla essence off me to So I'll be in the background. Can't wait your butter on the floor. You need a hand there, Belle. <laughs> Would you like me to put it in the microwave a little bit, soften it a bit more? Yeah? Yeah. Is it still too hard? I yeah. think so. It looks like yeah. a block of cheese, Mum. <laughs> Can we give it a 30 second blast? 10. 10? Goodness. Can I put my finger in it? Can I Gotta stand like this to make sure it's turned. What's Daddy doing? Let's see how the butter is. Another ten, please, Dad. Another ten. Yep. Another ten. Another ten. Do you just feel like saying that? Oh, couldn't get the door open. Wow. Hey. Do a microwave, Alan. Oh, that looks like softened butter. It's still quite hard, actually. Can you want to give it another 10 seconds? No, it's all right. Let mummy start, okay, babes? Can I get it? We need you to focus on the action that's happening right now, Bella. Okay. It's like over, there we go. Overexposed, oversaturated. Overexposed. Did you say hi, Mum? Hi. 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 Good girl. It's a lovely cake. Well, it looks lovely. It smells nice. It does smell really nice. She was here first. Sorry, Belle's the main character. Yeah, this isn't our channel anymore. This isn't a stitching channel. This is now a... A Bella, Bella. stands in front of the camera and does what she wants channel. I gotta do a penguin though. And that trip. That's a, that's a good penguin dance, Bella. Do you want me to have a turn? I was asking mummy. It needs the lumps beating out of it. This is my time to shine. Is that the floor? squeak. No, it was the... Oh, the dishwasher. Bella, can you go... Don't, don't step, baby. You've got no room on there. You go... Y. Y. M. M. C. C. A. A. 
a vision. Hey. Aw. Uh, I'm gonna do a gluten-free one for my can nan and my uncle. Can I do a glitter one for my? A glitter one? You can help me when we do it. It'll be next week. How does that look, Mum? That looks good. It doesn't look like there's enough, though. Does it? Okay. And it looks very runny. It depends how much can you want to ice, I guess. Can I put it on a cake? In a minute, yeah. I'm going to go consult Nan on the consistency, because this is the consistency right now. You see your outfit. Can we do you twirl? Yeah. Twirl. Who's on your jumper? Paddington. Paddington Bear? Yeah. Is he playing in the snow? Yeah. And yeah. he's playing snow. It's fine. Can you just walk? Snow. Let me speak yeah. there. And he throws snowballs. We're discussing Bella's jumper. It's got Paddington throwing snowballs on it, Mum. Can I mix it? Yep. This begins with the slowest mix you've ever seen. Did we forget to put your batteries in? Yeah. Is it good enough? Keep going. You made it crank up the face a little bit. Oh, oh dear. Loud. Okay, baby. Look at Mum go. She's like a whisk, isn't she? Yeah. A mixing machine. That's what um, they all call me. I have the Mum. Wow, terrible mix. Do you like a KitchenAid? I want a KitchenAid. I want a KitchenAid. If anyone ever wants to buy me a Christmas present. <laughs> Saying that, I don't want a KitchenAid because then I'm out of a job. Yeah, but then you get to have a relaxing time. I would do so much more. Do you just turn me off again? <laughs> no, she's pressing the wrong place for that. Ah! No, she's unplugged, Mum. When we move out, that's the first <laughs> thing I'm buying for the house. I want a big TV and I want a KitchenAid. Oh, that looks good. That's a thick... I feel like it might need a tiny little bit more in. That's a thick frosting, I'd say. Oh, that's your thumbnail right there. A little bit more. What shall I press now? I don't think there's a button for you to press at the moment, sweetheart. You gotta turn, turn mummy on. Oh, are you doing a little dance while it mixes? Is that your mixing dance? We all do the mixing dance, except you, mummy, you're already mixing. I can dance while I mix. What shall I press now? Yeah, I think we're done. Good. I'd say that's good frosting, Mum. Good or bad? Good. Good. Oh, you got the wrong finger there, didn't you, Bella? Shall we decorate it? Yeah. Okay. Decorate. So, the recipe calls for six ounces. I would say that was more like seven away but do six ounces and then you can always add. It tastes nice. Tastes nice. You heard it here first. So. Do a cake. Do it mum. Do it mum. Wow. Doesn't that look like such a nice thick icing bell? No mum did it. Ta-da! It's a little wonky because it's on an angle, it's not because down. the cake's... Well, the cake is a little bit wonky because, yeah, like Rose said, it's, it's upside down. Is it, but... Is that I think... Hey. It looks okay. I've used literally all the icing, but it's like the nicest icing ever, so... Happy with it. Bella has decorated the cake very nicely. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I hope you managed to follow along with that. We've taken the little decorations out. I'll show you how it looks now. Now that you've given it little spikes. It's got little spikies on top. They're technically frosted tips. 
<laughs> hope you followed along and if you try it out let me know i would love for you to try it out but like no pressure it's a lot easier to do when there's not a three-year-old uh -huh. we think she might actually have a tooth coming through so that's why she's a bit like she was very tired so. yeah <laughs> she's struggling a bit but she did really well she did and her mum did really well at the cake as well I, however, did not because I knocked over an entire bag of desiccated coconut. Made up for it with me stirring it like nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be making another <coughs> one of these in like a week or so. So I think we just measure out everything before then and put all the stuff out of the way. Yeah, I'm going to um, do a gluten free one. It's only going to be like a third of the size. Mm. So, you know, won't that'll be, be too bad. That'll be easy with stuff and everything, won't it? Yeah. <sighs> So yeah. Are you happy with how it's turned out? Mm -hmm, I love Do you it. Gonna lift it up? Do you want me to lift it up? Yeah. Oh, that, that is a thick It's heavy. Hair. She's dense. Oh, she's pale. Stop looking at how wonky it is. Make it look more even. There you go, that's better. Ta-da. Cake. <laughs> so yeah, I'll be taking that into work. I'm only taking a bit of it. I want to keep a little bit of it. So I think we're gonna thirds it and we're going to keep a third and take two thirds into work. Yeah, you so I hope people well. like carrot cake at work because I only know about one person at the minute so. I feel like it'll go down well. I hope so. If not you can always just eat it yourself. Just bring it back home. You can eat it in like the kitchen and just cry. Why is no one eating my cake? So yeah, thank you for watching. We've got some videos <laughs> planned. Whether or not they'll be executed is another question <laughs> but yeah. Thank you guys and we Thank will you all for watching. see you next week. If you watch to the end, comment. Frosting. 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 Yeah. It's a good one. Bye. Bye.